Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers here. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around a Big Tex 10 ET 7x18 foot equipment trailer, 99 90 pound GVW. This particular unit is 18 foot length, but to be clear, because a lot of folks do ask, that's going to be about 15 foot of wood, and then you've got roughly 3 foot of a self cleaning beaver tail. Now, one thing different on this Big Tex, that self cleaning beaver tail, typically you're going to see be wood. It's a little bit nicer. It's going to knock your tread or knock your tread, knock your dirt off your tires on those angled cleats, and it just gives a little better traction. You get mud on uh, wood, it's going to slide around. Um, the cleats are just going to make it a little bit more user friendly. So I learned the beaver tail with stand up ramps. Uh, this trailer is fairly standard equipment. Uh, standard on this, I believe, is a straight deck technically with uh, your sliding ramps. But again, for equipment, you're going to want the, uh, the stand-up shown here. Uh, we also, in Pennsylvania, are required to have two axle brakes. This unit is equipped with brakes on both axles. show you all the standard features on this particular unit. This has an adjustable six-hole coupler. you got four different hole positions. Uh, I like to put the safety chains on here, but there are also safety chain holders on the, uh, the A-frame itself. Uh, zip breakaway cable is standard equipment on this, which is nice. Uh, we see trailers come in traded that have uh, cables that are frayed and dragging and whatnot from being on the road. Uh, that is standard equipment. If you're not familiar with these, that is a safety device designed to be hooked to your truck every time you use it. In the event somebody ever bars your trailer, uses the wrong ball, etc., this would pull out, create a short, activate uh, your brakes via the onboard uh, battery and uh, stop the trailer. Seven RV blade wiring harness is standard. It's uh, not only a sealed uh, harness, but it's also a blue cold weather rated harness. Stays flexible down to colder temperatures, even like today. Seven pin RV blade. You'll notice it's got the color codes on the end of the plug. A lot don't have that. Just makes it easy for, say, an end user to, you know, if they drag this whatnot, need to rewire it to do so. This does have the drop leg jack, which is nice if you're not familiar. Uh, it has an outer leg, which is cranked via the top wind uh, set up. And then you've got an inner leg that adjusts via the pin. Just gives you plenty of adjustability. No need to ever carry around a uh, wood blocking or similar. What I wanted to show you, this is also a removable bolt on jack. So if you ever need to replace it, very easy to do so. Spare tire mount, standard equipment. Uh, bolts onto your front headache rack and then you've got a brace underneath typically a 10k equipment trailer is going to come with a 5 inch channel tongue and a 5 inch channel frame occasionally you'll see some that are going to have an angle iron frame this particular one is going to be equipped with a 6 inch channel mainframe so a little bit heavier than most in the industry on this uh, also gives you a, a few more tie downs this particular unit is going to have rub rail and stake pocket and then also six D-rings. Six D-rings we tend to find are handy because you're gonna have most likely a piece of equipment, let's just say a small mid-size skid steer or maybe a mid-size compact tractor. You're gonna have four points of contact with D-rings uh, for that piece of equipment. Then you've also got two up front uh, for your front bucket or attachment, whatnot, in addition to all the rub rail uh, options that you've got going back the trailer. Show you the underside of the trailer here quick so this particular unit even though it's a 10,000 gvw is going to have a 16 inch on center uh cross member spacing i show you that because typically industry standard it's going to be 24 inch on center those are also three inch channel cross members uh they're structural channel not formed you've got a uh, reinforcement gusset in front of the fender. It is a removable fender, which is also nice if you ever need to take the fender off. It's easy to do so. Uh, some folks say, why would I want a removable fender? Well, the answer is if you ever damage it, it's going to make it easier. Uh, also, if you ever want to fork something on from the side, you can do so by taking the fender off. Uh, you have roughly three, four, or five inch fender reveal when you take it off. So if you want to load a skid on from the side, you can do so. It's also a teardrop fender, not the straight. Teardrop, if you're not familiar, is going to make it a little bit stronger. Uh, again, we said it does have brakes on both axles. I believe that is an option, but again, required for PA. 
Uh, it's got a 225-75 R15 load range D 8-ply radial tire on a black mod wheel. This has the newer style Dexter Ford adjusting brakes. Just like a car, it's going to self-tension throughout the life of the pad. It's also got easy lube hub. So in the center uh, there you see a black cap. Behind that would be a grease zert. A uh, homeowner with basic hand tools can do their own bearing maintenance on the trailer. Two bite pressure treated pine is standard for decking. Again, typically you're gonna see a wood dovetail. This has the self cleaning upgrade, which is nice. And this dovetail is gonna be, again, a little over three foot long. Typically you're gonna see a two foot tail. Nice part about that is you can shorten your ramps a little bit because your dovetail is a little longer. Gives you a little bit less air drag going down the road. It also means you're on a ramp for less distance. So instead of being on a ramp five foot, got uh, you know a solid tail a little bit quicker you've got your kicker knees or knee ramp supports at the back LED lights you know like this I don't think I mentioned is gonna weigh in about 2,500 pounds it's gonna give you a net legal um, payload on the trailer side of about 7,500 pounds that doesn't count your tongue weight tongue weight to the jack or well jack and your coupler going to be about another 15%. Uh, so if occasionally you need to get north of that 7,500 pound mark, uh, you will be legal whenever you cross your scales because that, again, additional weight is going to show up on the truck side. Um, so again, this is a 10,000 7 by 18 available in different lengths, 16, 20, etc. Uh, we also carry it in the 14,000 and 16,000 GVW. And this is shown with the stand up knee ramps we also have the full width mega ramp option as well if you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers feel free to give us a ring at 724-864-1449 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking